on to God and Stacy Adams wonderful adventures. You ought to see God through my eyes, and you'll be saying, Wow, thanks, God, how'd you do that? <laughs> so it's me, Stace, and I hope this video changes your life and saves the world. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> so this video is called Is God the Missing Piece to Your Puzzle? Well, I love that God puts me in people's lives to thrill them with Him because it's all about God. So when I meet somebody, I know it's because he wants me to show them the real him. So I have this friend or and client, let's call him Thor. Thor is a very, very, very successful businessman, loving and caring husband, father, grandfather, friend, and employer. He's an amazing person. But there was something missing because most people would think that if they knew his life, that he had the perfect life because he can afford to do anything he wants whenever he wants. And if he wants to take the time off to have fun, he can do it. So, um, but I do love that when Thor would have meetings with me, he would say that he felt refreshed or it was refreshing. Refreshed or refreshing? Everybody loves refreshments. <laughs> so... Uh, and then whenever he'd come around me, he'd say, like, God, Stace, or my office, he'd say, God, Stace, what are you doing here? Because he could feel the weighty presence of God. That's just the way, that's the way they could feel in heaven. <laughs> just like love and joy and peace and silence or calm. Like calm, like your brain is just calm. You're not thinking, thinking, thinking like people of the world, always thinking, thinking and calculating and, you know, worrying, worrying, worrying. You don't have to do that with God. You could just be with God and he'll tell you what to do if you ask him. Because God wants to be everything. He's not only the king and creator of the universe, he's also our father. But if you let him, he could be your bestest, funnest friend. He could be your CEO, your accountant, your therapist, your counselor, your nutritionist, your personal trainer. Whatever you need. God can do that for you because God made us to want him, to need him. And if you haven't figured that out yet, then you're probably not that happy. <laughs> well, you could be, but um, it's not a real happiness or joy or fulfillment from inside. So the only one that can fill that everything is God. God made us to want him, to need him. So, oh, and then one book that changed my life was called The Bait of Satan. And it's written by John Bouvier. So in the book, I remember reading, and I was a baby Christian, and I remember reading that, um, oh, you have to be only happy with God. And they go, only happy with you? Like, oh my God. <laughs> and then that night I had a dream, and I'm sitting in the middle of the forest and with nothing. And then I'm screaming at God or yelling at God going, and I'm supposed to be happy with this? And God said, yes. Okay. So then what's Stacey Otto's favorite thing to do now? Be alone in the forest with God. <laughs> so never say never. And um, you just have to learn that God is everything. But the more time you spend with God alone, the more time you crave. Because I love being alone with God. I just have so much fun. So it might not make sense to you. I hope it does because then that means, you know, you know God. But if you don't, just keep watching my videos and keep spending time with God and your life will get funner and funner and funner. <laughs> okay, so back to the story. Thor would ask me, like, God, Stacey, what are you doing here? And I said, it's just me and God. We hang out all day. <laughs> we pray, meaning we talk. We play. We play games like hide and seek. Uh, God hides the signs and wonders, and I seek them. We play puzzles. It's not about a uh, religion. It's about a relationship. And he goes, okay, Stace, I live in reality. I'm like, boring. <laughs> God's world is so much more fun. So, um, and I love that I can, uh, that God gives me eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel, and Bible verse to confirm. Most importantly, I love that I can open up my Bible and God can give me the answer or the solution to things that I have to deal with. And um, I like to be like Jesus and say, it is written. <laughs> so like Thor goes, okay, Stacey, I live in reality. Boring. 
So then the very next day, I'm driving on the freeway, and I see this big 18-wheeler, and it has a custom paint job with, guess what? Puzzle pieces, like it's flying off the truck. Puzzle pieces. I just told Thor that me and God play puzzles. <laughs> So then I catch up to the truck and I take a picture and I sent it to him and I said, are you sure you don't want to be in God's wonderful world? Because it's so much more fun. <laughs> so, but imagine that king and creator of the universe goes through all that orchestration to get a truck driver to put a custom bill paint job on his truck and it happens to be puzzle pieces like some are flying off the truck and then it happens to drive right in front of Stacyata the day after she tells her friend that she plays puzzles with God that's amazing I'm just so thrilled by that so and it gets even better <laughs> because I started making food for Thor not only is he a businessman and, you know, family man, he's also an amazing athlete. And he was going to do this crazy race. So, but he had to drive from one part of the country to the other part of the country. And then he was going to do a race. So I started making him food, like a big giant ice chest full of food. And I kept saying, God, why am I making him food? He didn't ask me to. <laughs> and, he, and then God said, because we don't want him to eat him to be eating junk from here to there and then do a race because that's not healthy. So I said, okay, but then I kept wondering, like, why am I making the food he even asked me to? So then that night, um, I opened my Bible because God knew it was bugging me. And so he, I see it was here hard to feel and Bible verse to confirm. So I just happened to open up my Bible to Jeremiah 43. And it was... The captain of the bodyguard. So in this Bible verse, Stacy out is a captain. Because I always tell Thor because he's this big, giant, muscly, intimidating guy looking like maybe a bodyguard. And uh, I said, if you just do what Stacy out tells you, you'll be wonderful. And he's like, okay, Stace. <laughs> he's always rolling his eyes. I don't know why he's rolling his eyes. Anyways, he says, the captain of the bodyguard gave him food for the journey. Gave him food for the journey. I was making him a whole ice chest full of food so that when he goes does his race, he'll be energized and feel healthy. How does God do that? I don't know, but he thrills me. So anyways, and a parting gift and sent him off. <laughs> So, the captain of the bodyguard gave him food for the journey and a parting gift and sent him off. That should amaze you and just make you want to open your Bible right now. I hope it does, and I hope God totally throws you right now because he can and he will. <laughs> okay, God, remember. So, anyways, um, oh, and then, of course, I had to call him and tell him the, about the uh, making him the food. He goes, Stacey, I know you didn't have to. I go, I know, but God told me to. <laughs> And then God gave me the Bible verse. He's like, okay, because, you know, he knows God, but he doesn't really know God as being, you know, wanting to be part of our life, every single part of our life. But he did experience the supernatural because one time he came over and he was a little bummed because he's going to have to fire somebody. And he really didn't want to fire somebody, but he said, I can tell because he's given him more than a couple chances that this person was not going to be a good person fit for the company and I go well, let's just ask God I go just open the Bible so he opens the Bible and he gets a Bible verse and I don't remember which one it was but it said basically it said fire him because he's not going to be a good employee so that was awesome because then it gave him peace that he's just not being a meanie <laughs> a mean boss okay so he experienced the supernatural more than once like all the time he just didn't want to give God all the credit or he doesn't want to give God his all because then God's going to make him probably do stuff or stop doing stuff that he doesn't really want to do or stop doing now. So anyways, um, oh, but the story gets even better, not only with the Bible verse. So when I looked at the picture again of the truck, it says MCT on it. Well, when I was making Thor's food, God kept telling me to put coconut oil in like every meal. Coconut oil, coconut. I go, okay, coconut oil, okay? Because I know it's good for you and good for athletes, 
But, you know, a lot of people don't know that, or it's just yummy anyway. But then God gave me confirmation, positive affirmation with the truck. So that's a double blessing, double message, because it said MCT, and MCT oil is coconut oil. So I love that God tells me what to feed other people, because and I know it's going to help them get healthy. <laughs> and if you look right here, right here, that's, if you could bottle me, that's Stacyata in a jar. Because they say you are what you eat. And this is what I eat. Rainbow vegetables every day. I don't go without it because at first God made me and I was like, oh, you're so mean. But now I love it and I can't go a day without eating my rainbow vegetables. But I do eat a small portion of organic meat. Everything's all organic too. So, um, now where was I? Ah! <laughs> Uh, duh, that's me, Stacyata. Now, back to the story. Okay, so then Thor comes over to pick up the food. And when he comes over, he's like, God, Stace, what are you doing here? Because he could just feel the presence of God. I go, it's just, that's how it feels. This is just me and God. This is how it feels when you have God around you all the time and you want him around you. And he's like, okay. So then, um... He he leaves and oh and he goes, Stace, you didn't have to uh, make this for me. I go, I know, but God told me, and I love it because He gave me the Bible verse. That's what thrills me the most. I don't know how God does that, makes the Bible come alive. So then he leaves, and after he leaves, I told him, Hey God, what's the parting gift we gave him? Because remember the Bible verse said, and sent him off with a parting gift. And then I go, So what's the parting gift we gave him? And then God said, Love. And then I thought I was being conceited. <laughs> And then later on, I asked him, hey, God, what's the parting gift we gave him? He goes, we gave him love. And I go, okay. So the next day, Thor calls me, and he's like, Stace. I go, what? He goes, what did you do to me at your house? I go, what? He goes, I still feel good. That was a miracle. Right there, that was a miracle. <laughs> because Thor is usually, you know, working, 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 thinking, 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 stressing, because he has to take care of all kinds of people. But... When, God, when you take care of a lot of people, especially when you take good care of people, then God puts other people in your life to help take care of you because you can't do everything for yourself. God made us to need other people and especially to need Him. So if you really, really feel like you're stressed out, the best thing to do is go spend some time alone with God with worship music. And thank God they have good worship music, not just churchy hymns. <laughs> There's all kinds of good worship music. Um... Listening to a good teaching or preaching, reading your Bible or reading a book written by a, somebody uh, that's Holy Spirit led, a Christian, um, walking out in nature, just listening to the wind and enjoying the wind and the leaves and not thinking about your to do list. Because God could tell you what to do later on, but just spend time with Him, talking to Him, journaling. Oh, I love journaling. Talking about journaling. Anyway, so. I journal and I do this because I'm typing on my my laptop and because I don't like to write. So then uh, one day when I journal, sometimes I tell God, take over my fingers. So he takes over my fingers and he goes, Stace, you don't even notice when the devil's bugging you. And I go, really? He's like, yeah, you don't even notice when the devil's bugging. I'm like, okay. So the next day I happened to go to a church and it was a new church. And then I just happened to have the preacher pray for me. And then he's praying for me and he goes... <laughs> He goes, you've been in a lot of big storms. I go, I have? And he's, he's like, yeah. He goes, and you're in a big one right now. I go, I am? <laughs> and he goes, yes, you are. And I go, oh, okay. But then that's just because God says I always keep my eyes focused on him because we're always playing, praying. I'm looking all, I'm always on the I'm always seeking God, signs and wonders, reading my Bible, him marveling me just because the Bible comes alive. I mean, I'm always just paying attention to God. They don't even pay attention to the devil, like these little demons right here that like to chatter in your ear. <laughs> so anyways, that was a miracle that Thor said he still felt good the next day. I was just like, wow. And I, so I said, what do you feel? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, I just still feel good. And I go, what do you feel? And he goes, I don't know. I go, what do you feel? He goes, I feel love. Thank you, God, that he felt love. Because sometimes when you're doing, doing, doing for people, and then the enemy can make you feel like they don't appreciate it, or you don't feel appreciated as much as you do, then you don't feel love. But 
God made him feel loved just from what the little thing that I did. So that thrilled me. So I hope this story thrills you. Oh, so is God the missing piece to your puzzle? Because if you're missing God, then you have to be missing Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and love and joy and peace and fun and rest and health and wealth and adventure. If you're uh, listening to the devil and you, that's who you're listening to, then you're going to feel shame and fear and anger and discouragement, disappointment. Uh, uh, what's that? Condemnation, anxiety. So just start focusing and spending more time with God. Just shut out the enemy. Just say, no, I don't want to hear you. And then just say, what do you want to talk about, God? Or what do you want to do, God? That's the best way to live your life. What do you want to do, God? Even when he makes you do something that you don't want to do, it's always to bless you with something better, with him or his blessings, because he wants to bless us so we can be a blessing. So I hope this video thrills you, because I love telling my stories. So there's a like button. Hit it right now. Hit the share button right now because I know there's people out there in your life that are all like, oh, woe is me or or just sad and, you know, need God in their life and and fun <laughs> and, um, and get rid of the worry and hit the subscribe button so you can hear my other stories because I have so many more adventures. And if you want to hit the donate button and donate to me, I would love it because I love sharing my stories. I want to just keep doing this over and over and over so you just get so much of God that you don't even know that the devil's bugging you. <laughs> so I pray that God blesses you with more of him, more time for him, and I pray that he just thrills you. And if he's not thrilling you, then contact me and I'll have him thrill you. <laughs> so I hope you have a supernaturally wonderful day. Bye.